How's it going, everybody? Welcome to a brand new episode of Crypto Clout. I am your host, Phase Crypto. Today is, of course, June 1st, 2019, and I know we are all waiting in anticipation to see the Justin Sun announcement uh, coming up in just two days, and I'm sure you're all excited to hear of, uh, you know, exactly what this is going to mean for the Tron community and, of course, the future of the decentralized internet, and I think that this is a pretty good opportunity for us to recap on a lot of the different news items regarding Tron and just exactly what could happen on June 3rd regarding uh, Justin Sun and of course the overall Tron project. We have some pretty exciting news items so sit back, relax, make sure that you watch to the end because we're going to be providing some pretty interesting analysis I think in this video Uh, now just giving an idea of uh, now so of course Tron price soars as Justin Sun promised to announce something amazing on June 3rd ahead of Justin Sun's promise to reveal details of something curious that the uh, dev team of Tron and BitTorrent are uh, you know, by with J- June 1st TRX is rising 13%. Uh, you know, of course, uh, this article goes on to say, uh, you know, of course, uh, BTFS is now decentralized solution for data storage from BitTorrent, which in tends to enable all 100 MLN users to get each other to store files on PC. And while the, you know, I think that this is, uh, you know, pretty cool. I mean, we've got, uh, you know, Justin Sun's tweet right here. Uh, check out the plan for BTF's uh, roadmap. Um, you know, the BTFS uh, roadmap uh, holds many uh, ex- exciting new developments in the future. So, I mean, I think that, uh, I've been reading this roadmap for the past uh, couple of, uh, you know, just before I started making this video right here, you know, for just a few hours, I was, uh, you know, going over it. And uh, I mean, it is, uh, it is pretty interesting, um, you know, just to see exactly, you know, the test net launches, uh, you know, the developers and of course, main net, uh, you know, quarter three of 2019, respectively. So, uh, you know, of course, uh, it's definitely going to be interesting. I mean, I suppose time will tell. Uh, but of course, I'm sure that there's some people out there who are uh, proponents of Tron enjoying some of those uh, 18% gains as the decentralization of the internet continues to heat up. And rightfully so, I think that this is an interesting time to see that sort of uh, recognition going in the Tron direction. In particular, this is sort of an advantageous time, in particular, when we could consider exactly all the different things that are happening now involving the old guard internet and a lot of the different issues that come into play with uh, centralization. Of course, uh, these different issues can be uh, exemplified if you just look uh, you know, into all the different problems that you know Facebook and so forth have been running into. Uh, now, of course, rushing to the cryptocurrency scene to try and get with the program before they're essentially uh, you know, knocked off the face of the earth. Uh, but of course, uh, you know, Justin Sun does it again, Tron TRX and BTT pump. 14%. I mean, if you want to give Justin Sun credit for at least one thing, uh, he is a master of bringing all this uh, publicity and attention to his project. And, uh, you know, the fact of the matter is, he is sort of a genius of our time uh, to that effect, really ahead of the curve as far as uh, the way that a CEO manages this sort of stuff. And uh, he definitely does have a grasp on the psychology of uh, how people operate in this space, uh, which is definitely something that's uh, going to be a, a big, uh, I think, player as we move forward, especially after we pass that June 3rd date. So Tron CEO Justin Sun just announced his second announcement in the space of a week uh, as the value of TRX and BitTorrent token increase 14% overnight. Earlier in the week, Justin Sun announced an upcoming announcement, uh, which he promised to announce on June 1st. On Saturday morning, when June 1st arrived, Sun announced he was pushing back the announcement back a couple of days as per his tweet announcement. Um, so I think that this is definitely interesting. Uh, I mean, I know a lot of people like to, you know, be like, oh, is this a parody, you know, the announcing an announcement? But uh, I mean, I still have faith that, I mean, it'll live up to the hype. Uh, you know, that's a that's a question that's uh, difficult to answer for some time. Uh, you know, of course, uh, 
you know, it is interesting. So this quote right here, you know, something uh, huge and amazing going about uh, hashtag Tron, hashtag BitTorrent. I'll share with you after June 1st. I think you have a uh, 70% to win. Nail it. Fingers crossed. Uh, and uh, you know, it is interesting to see how the Tron community has responded. Uh, you know, of course, just taking a look at this uh you know, chart right here. Um, I mean, it is interesting to see how, uh, you know, Tron has been coming along uh, now. And I think we can expect to see some pretty interesting things. I mean, first of all, I mean, one of the uh, interesting things that one of my subscribers actually brought to my attention, um, uh, you know, involved uh, how much money it actually costs to print a hundred dollar bill and then how much money actually is spent by the taxpayers to transport the hundred dollar bills and go through quality assurance and all these different things when in reality the you know we could solve all these different problems with blockchain uh, and basically cut out the middleman and uh, you know essentially that's the way that the future is sort of uh, moving along that path uh, you now this article right here is interesting too seventh largest banks in the world are rumored to be blocking cryptocurrency transactions um, banks in the cryptocurrency world have been at odds ever since the uh, last Ladder emerged a decade ago from yeah it is uh definitely interesting so I mean, you all know the story so uh you know what's the alternative now go to a new bank have to open an entirely new account all that shit just to potentially run into the same issue uh you know bitcoin atm uh, and pay an extraordinary you know exuberant amount uh, i think that you all understand the pattern that's developing here the banks want to continue to hold on but they find that they probably have to make that transition into our world you know into the cryptocurrency space uh, which means i mean the fact of the matter is that the, the big players are paying uh, very close attention to uh, cryptocurrency in a big way uh, you know this article uh, public uh, blockchains oh god uh, yeah um it just disappeared on me uh public blockchains will be potentially uh you know revolution says uh ey i'm launching uh zk yeah uh i mean this is sort of uh this article definitely does uh, exemplify so uh you know uh, effectively the integration may be dull but they are powerful uh yeah i think you all sort of get the gist definitely goes along with uh the general theme of this video which is uh the decentralization of the internet the inevitability of cryptocurrency having um that sort of future ahead of it so it is interesting to see the paradigm shift happening in front of our eyes and we are so early uh you know i am excited to see what uh, exactly justin sun has in store uh, you know, as far as these things go, uh, you know, it is pretty exciting to see how, uh, you know, Tron has been making some of these big moves forward. Uh, you know, essentially, uh, you know, we'll see how the culmination of all this hype, uh, you know, what it results in. Um, but I mean, I definitely do have uh, some you know, expectations. Uh, hopefully we won't be disappointed. Um, you know, May returns, Bitcoin uh, 51 percent, um, of course. Uh, Yen is plus three. Tesla is negative 22. Um, NASDAQ is negative eight. Um, junk bonds, negative two. Gold plus two. Bonds plus two. Interesting. I mean, like, you don't get this kind of volatility in the stock market. I mean, cryptocurrency in and of itself is uh, attractive for that same notion. So, uh, I think that that's also going to be uh, an allure uh, as things continue to get going and we see a lot of these different variables uh, coming together. Um, yeah, so I am very excited. Uh, I think June 3rd is going to be an interesting uh, you know, time. I think, you know, it'll definitely get a, be a good start off to the summer. Um, you know, and uh, yeah, I mean, uh, happy Pride Month, everybody. Uh, yeah, but uh, also make sure that you guys uh, subscribe to us. I mean, follow us on our Twitter. Um, you know, that's uh, at CryptoTuber, of course. Um, you know, make sure that you guys are following us over there. Um, you know, always uh, remember this video is for entertainment, educational purposes only. Of course, this uh, video is not financial advice. You know, this video is uh, just fine. You know, just uh, you know, fun. And uh, you know, remember, I'm not your dad. Um, you know, of course, all that good stuff. But yeah, I mean, overall, I am pretty bullish on um, the future of what Tron can have in store. I'm pretty happy uh, with my position on Tron 
right now. I mean, pretty giddy just seeing those 22 percent, um, you know, in such a short time frame. And I know there's probably a lot of people out there who share in that sentiment. But all that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, found it informative, and uh, you know, we'll make a recap after June 3rd to see how these things fared up, see if this video aged well. Um, you know, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.